Hi, my name is Joanne Kennedy and I'm a naturopath in Sydney, Australia and I specialise in methylation and histamine intolerance. In this video, I'm going to be discussing how CFO or small intestinal fungal overgrowth can cause histamine intolerance. So a lot of people have heard about SIBO and they've been tested for SIBO. Potentially it's come back negative, but they've still got a lot of the symptoms of SIBO. They've got a lot of histamine symptoms. And this can often be due to the fact that they don't actually have a bacterial overgrowth in the small bowel. They have a yeast or fungal overgrowth in the small bowel. Okay, so when you've got a yeast fungal overgrowth, it is going to cause an immune response it's going to cause an inflammatory response. And when there is inflammation, there will be histamine release. Okay, if it's occurring in the small bowel, this is going to cause inflammation in the small bowel and the Dow enzyme that breaks down histamine is highly correlated um, in the small bowel. And if you have inflammation, it will reduce the production and excretion of Dow enzyme. So the net result of CFO which is the same as what happens with SIBO, is more inflammation and less Dow enzyme activity. Okay, now there's also another thing that can happen with CFO. Okay, so fungus or yeast, candida is, is, is the same, actually releases oxalate, so it contains oxalate. And oxalates, they're part of our biochemistry, the human biochemistry, but plants and these fungus also have oxalate. And oxalates form really sharp crystals and they can deposit in the gut, causing a lot of gut inflammation. They'll also deposit in the joints, in the bladder, in the urethra. They can get into the lungs, even into the brain, into the thyroid, and they cause a lot of tissue damage. Okay, and if there's a lot of tissue damage, there's a lot of inflammation. And then at the same time, histamine is going to be released. Okay, so one of the major drivers that's often undiagnosed for years and years and years is yeast or fungus or candida. And we've got to remember that we can have a fungal overgrowth in the small intestine. Okay, so it's, it is hard to diagnose because you can't actually test for CFO, basically it, it's like if you've got the symptoms of SIBO and if you've got the symptoms of fungal overgrowth, yeast overgrowth, which can often be a, a lot of brain fog, a lot of fatigue, sugar cravings. And if you've got all these oxalate symptoms and the histamine symptoms and looking at treating yeast and oxalates is, is a really good place to start.